First, we had some damage up in Joshua yesterday. That's my video there uh, that you're looking at from the hail damage that we had in that uh, area yesterday, and it did do considerable damage. That is going to be the concern here this morning as well. So we do want to bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz talking more about the damage that we've already seen across the area. Yeah, you know, several reports and the worst of it, of course, was just south and south uh, west of the Metroplex. So I want to talk you through how this happens this time of the year, because we often think that once we hit June, we're going to see the end of severe weather season. Remember yesterday morning, if you were with us, we talked about how this water kind of gets pushed into an updraft of a really strong thunderstorm. And once it gets to a certain level, that water freezes. And that freezing line is still kind of low in the atmosphere during the spring because it hasn't been all that hot yet. And that's exactly why we are still seeing hail this uh, late in the season. It's because it hasn't been all that hot yet. So that freezing line is still kind of lower, kind of closer to the ground. So with the updrafts that are causing this rain to just kind of push up into that updraft, it is causing still hail a considerable size uh, this late in the spring severe season. Now, how often do we see it? Th these are just averages. This is not specifically speaking towards this year, but the quarter size hail, the half dollar size hail, we'll see that 25 to 30 days a year. So with just general thunderstorms in North Texas, when we start talking about uh, storms or hail that's a little bit larger, closer to uh, golf ball size. We see that less 15 to 20 days per year. And with the more intense hail, we're talking tennis, baseball size. We only see that about four to five days a year. Again, this is on average. And of course, we did see some reports of hail that was very large across the area. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, toss it over to Cleo. Cleo, we were just talking about uh, this yesterday. Yeah, here we're we seeing go it again. again today. Hail damage again from overnight. A lot of people jumped on social media once again on Twitter, especially posting these pictures here, letting us know what things look like in their neck of the woods here. Elon, thank you for this tweet here saying this is bigger than softball pieces of hail. It hit our roof in Mansfield and it sounded like a bomb. I can only imagine what that was like. Ashley here, she really compared those chunks of hail in her neighborhood next to a little yogurt cup here saying this was hail in Burleson last night. Also, Jason, he's a storm chaser. He's got chunks of hail in his hand, large hail in Comanche County earlier. Now there was quite a lot of damage last night, especially to cars just like this from golf ball size hail uh, to uh, baseball size hail, causing a lot of damage and really prompting people to go ahead and call their insurance company and get in line for an adjuster's help. So let's walk you through the process to help you out here, especially if you're new to North Texas. So we'll go through these bullet points here, document that damage and take a ton of pictures. Keep ruined furniture, or belongings so that you can prove your losses. And you should be very cautious of anyone who approaches you after a storm. Instead, call local shops, collect those quotes, schedule an appointment with an adjuster. Some actually work virtually now and they'll send a drone out. And last but not least, get a final construction plan in writing and pay contracts in increments. Never pay a contractor's entire bill up front. And it's very important to note here, liability insurance will not cover for weather related damage to your vehicle, you have to have comprehensive coverage for that. So you may want to look into that if you just moved to North Texas because this severe weather is not going anywhere. Mark, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, I already have one hail claim so far Ugh. this season, Cleo. I'm hoping I don't have to make any more. Yeah. A reminder to download the WFAA uh, app before you head out today. You can set up personalized notifications for when a storm is in your area. It is free in your app store. And